Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey if you're new. Today's video is going to be a first impressions of the brand spanking new Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation and Concealer. So I have the Conceal and Define. It is one of my favourite foundations. I haven't worn it in a little while because I've been branching out trying new stuff but when I heard the word hydrate used with conceal I knew that I was going to need to try this. So instead of sitting here rambling on and on and on and on until the end of time, we're going to start by applying this to my face and I'll talk while I'm applying it. So, without further ado, I got mine in F7 purely because that's what I have my other one in, the Conceal and Define. It's actually a slightly runny formula. I couldn't tell you what kind of formula the other one is because it's an adult foot applicator. This has a pump. So, same sort of packaging, different label, but it has a pump. Pretty cool. I don't mind the doe foot, but I know that some people hate it. So, I'm using my sponge because I always use a sponge. If you've watched my channel in the past, you'll know that's my preferred method of application for pretty much any foundation because I have dry skin. Another reason why Hydrate jumps out at me so much. Pretty decent match. I actually think it might be pretty spot on, if not a tiny touch lighter than the Conceal and Define. I was going to do a side by side comparison, but I figure that you won't really see much because the formulas are similar. It's just that you'll you'll feel it more than anything else. And going by my friend on here Jen from Beauty by X going by her video I'm pretty sure that you know that's kind of like the right assumption that I had that it's not really going to be that it looks massively different it's purely more of a hydrating formula to the Conceal and Define foundation. Conceal and Define is a little bit heavier it's a little bit more matte this is sort of so if you were going to have a hydrating formula and a matte formula for oily skin types and for dry skin types I think that this is more what they're going for because I was the same I love 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 conceal and define but it can be a little bit drying so I got C5 in the concealer because I am C5 in the other concealer it looks maybe a little bit darker actually what I'll do is I'll take out the foundation and the concealer from the original formula and I'll swatch them side by side to show you how close the colours are. That blends out really nicely. I have quite a lot of problems with concealer lifting in this area when I'm blending it and this one isn't doing it. I'm trying to think if the Conceal and Define did. Probably. Most of them do and then I've got to go in with more and it just means that I've got more product on my face. This doesn't seem to be doing that. Now I'm going to use the Revlon Candid, the Photo Ready Candid powder because this has been my favourite powder right now. I absolutely love it. I don't know what is in here but it's Amaze Balls. So I'm going to set one side and then come in and show you the difference. So I set this side, I haven't set this side. As you can see, there is creasing. I'm 30 years old. There's going to be creasing. <laughs> I have eye creases. That's just what's going to happen. So it's not... It's not crazy glowy or anything like that. It's I've left. I've not set the rest of this side of my face. I've literally just done my under eye. I definitely think you need to set the concealer, or I do anyway. I think that it is it is slightly more hydrating. But if you have a wee look, Let's see if it's gonna show on camera. It just looks a lot more flat. And once it's set, it definitely looks like it's creasing. Yeah, yeah, it's creasing quite dramatically on this side, whereas this side it sort of stopped to where it's going to crease like so backwards but my eyes will crease to a certain extent and if it's a decent ah that was my elbow Ooh. <laughs> if it gets to once it gets to a certain extent it stops and that's kind of like the tail to me of a good concealer or a good concealer powder combo I have to say it's like a really good coverage so that is both sides all set 
I really like the coverage on this. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It still feels a little bit tacky. What I'll do is I will do the rest of my sort of face makeup with you guys and then I'll cut away and I'll come back once my eyes are done because I'm going to do my eyes in a different video. So let's get on with the rest of my face. So I'm using my favourite bronzer of the minute which is the Trouble Baked from I Heart Revolution. Okay, that applies really nicely actually. I'm going to use this Be Revolution Pro Sculpting Glow Palette. I really like this actually. I like the tone of the um, contour shade in it. It really reminds me of my shaping stick in the shade 200. It's just a really, really similar shade and I can't always or I don't always remember to cream contour but I do. That's like my favourite thing to do. If I'm going to something or if I'm going out, like on a night out or something like that, I'll always cream contour with that thing just because I love how it looks. I always powder on top but I've been really liking this blush lately. So I'm using the Milani Luminoso blush. I don't know why. I'm terrible. I get like stuck on things and use them for like ages and then like don't pick them up again for ages. A little bit of highlight. We're going to go for the Morphe highlight in Spark. And I've got like a chunk missing out of this one. I really don't know if somebody's like coming in and smashing up all my makeup while I sleep, but. I'm not having the best luck just now. So that's the rest of my makeup done. Well, that's the rest of my face makeup done. But I haven't like used a setting spray or anything like that, which is... I don't know, I would have said that it looks like I have. So, this is what my skin's looking like. I think it looks stunning. I need to get like right up close and personal in my mirror and have a wee look just in a second. But right now... Everything's sitting over it really nice and smooth. I'm gonna do my eyes off camera. I'm gonna go and film another video and then I'm gonna come back and then I can let you know how I feel about it. But so far, I like it, but we're gonna we're gonna see how we feel in a wee bit, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so that's the rest of my makeup done and Yes, I have a really bright pink lip on. I wanted to do sort of like a monochromatic look today where I had pink eyes and a pink lip. And this is kind of what happened. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, this is not about that. It's about the foundation. I am currently covered in glitter because the loose pigment that I used on my eyes has sort of like fallen all over my face. So, the foundation looks exactly the same. It maybe looks like a little bit more dry, but it's... Yeah, it, it looks sort of exactly the same. Really nice coverage. It is a really nice finish. I really like it so far. So I obviously will wear this sort of the rest of the day. It is 25 past five just now. So I'm gonna just obviously wear this for a little while longer today. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if I do have clips, I will add them in now. Okay, so it's 20 past nine. I finished all my makeup, I think at half past five. So maybe four and a half hours or something like that. This makeup's been on. I am ready to take it off because I'm so tired tonight, as if you can't tell. I don't have any eyelashes on, so I may look a little bit crazy because I did earlier on. And yeah, the makeup looks the same. I mean, my foundation still looks pretty decent. It actually is holding up just the same as the Conceal and Define did, but it's looking a little bit more hydrated. It's not really grabbing on. I mean, I'm, I'm realising that I'm covered in pigment. I probably should have done my eyes first, but it's, it's not sort of going like cakey around my nose or anything like that. It's still fine on all my dry areas. So I'd say it's holding up maybe just a, like a little bit better than my Conceal and Define would because it would go a little bit dry and maybe a little bit on the cakey side, whereas this isn't. So I definitely think this is going to be my favourite out of the two anyway. I really do like it. I'm going to do another video just now on a new 
spam remover that I got so I am ready to take this makeup off so I wanted to just sort of check in to let you know how it was doing and I'm really happy with it you'll see it in future videos I'm sure I'm going to use it again definitely um, but yeah if you like conceal and define and you have slightly more dry skin I'd say you're really going to like this foundation and it's only what nine pounds or something like that so you really can't go wrong with it so yeah I will go back to past me and see you guys later. Okay, so I think that is all I have to say. If you like Conceal and Define, you will like this. It is pretty much the same all round. I just think that this one has a sort of formula that's aimed more towards people with drier skin. So before I go, there was one last thing that I was going to do and that is take the old formula and swatch it next to the new one just to see sort of colour matchy wise what the difference is. So I've got Conceal and Hydrate, then Conceal and Define, then Conceal and Define, then Conceal and Hydrate. As you can see, the colours are slightly different in the foundation. But they're pretty bang on in the concealer, I would say. Pretty sure that your concealer shade will be the exact same. Your foundation... Okay, the Conceal and Define foundation is a little bit darker than the Conceal and Hydrate foundation and a little bit more yellow. I think I prefer this one on me, it's a wee bit more neutral. So F7 is more neutral and less yellow in Conceal and Hydrate, but it's, a, it's maybe like a half a shade lighter. So, uh, you know, if that's gonna affect you, you maybe wanna go down a shade. You do feel really, really similar. So yeah, like I say, I think it's more about the fact that one will suit dry skin better, and one will suit oily skin a little bit better, just purely with the ingredients that's in them. So yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, to be honest, I don't really care to read that much into it. If it works the same but gives me a wee bit more hydration, then I'm really quite happy with that. I don't wear makeup to get skincare. I use my skincare to my skincare. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, obviously, I would love if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos three times a week, usually Monday, Wednesday, same Friday, but not always. I will be having a subscriber giveaway for 2,000 subscribers, which we are creeping up on. So subscribe so you don't miss out on that. <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.